Hello everybody and welcome to Bravery in the Boardroom in Action. So today I am joined with board members from Coventry and Warwickshire Partnership Trust. You know we have had some staff that have been particularly abused by patients mm -hmm. and in mental health services quite often um, our police colleagues say well that person's got a mental health issue and therefore that's what's driving their behaviour. Quite often it isn't. Mm -hmm. So it's actually being brave enough to be able to say, no, this, this is not excusable behaviour. You know, we will tackle this. But it's also about empowering other staff to support a staff member yes. when they hear or see something that's not right. As Jagtar said, it's, every, it's everybody's business. We don't pigeonhole um, EDI in this organisation. I think that's the critical, probably one of the critical success factors. Call me woke if you wish, because woke means alert to injustice in society, especially to racism. So yes, call me woke if you wish. When I came to this trust, we had none. We now have eight staff networks. I attend as many of them as I can, Mal does, so do I not non-exec directors. We go there, we listen. And if you come to our board meeting, you'll hear that repeated back at the board, what we heard our staff networks talking about. If they feel empowered and supported, they will go about going back to the strategy, they will support the strategy, they will believe the values of the organisation and we move forward. It's about not seeing this as being a separate piece of work. Mm. Um, mm. So don't see it as separate. Make sure it's everybody's business and you talk about it in any meeting you're in. Um, I think there is something about having and being prepared to have difficult conversations mm -hmm. and then co-produce the solutions. I think they mm -hmm. are probably the three things that I would want to leave people with. You know, so it is about empowering uh, your staff for success. Um, and, and, you know, I, I you know, as a non-exec, I, I really don't feel uh, as if it's as if it's my role as somebody so, so who sits on the outside looking in and challenges the board. I, I very much feel part of the board. Yes. I feel very much part of delivering our, our future strategy as much as uh, Mel and and the executives have. So so it's that equal responsibility. It's that shared responsibility, and it's about as a board member empowering the staff to uh, to be successful.